today we're going to talk briefly here about the cosmic microwave background and how they've basically proven that the Earth is the center of the universe. Okay, with billion dollar satellites, three different ones over a decade's worth. Um, actually, they sent them up there trying to prove that the Earth isn't the center of the universe. And uh, yeah, their data kind of confirmed that it was. So all you Big Bang believers out there, uh, you got to find a new theory um, because it's wrong. Uh, you can't have a Big Bang unless you want to say the Big Bang started at Earth, in which I'd say, yeah, you're probably right because uh, God created everything right here and then stretched everything out. Now, let me do a brief background here. Um, it's called the Cosmic Microwave Background, and I'm on the wiki page because this will work uh, um, for, what we're, for what we're doing. Uh, they noticed that the, um, there is a background radiation that was the same in every single direction that they pointed their little detector. Um, and they called this the echo of the Big Bang because they didn't know what it was. And they, yeah, it sounds good. We'll call it the echo of the Big Bang, um, which is a freaking retarded idea. But whatever. That's what they went with. It's the echo of the Big Bang. But they wanted to learn more about it. So they sent up um, the, what's called a Planck satellite, this named after some guy, um, to actually get better readings of what is going on with the temperature of the universe and the background radiation. Um, the satellites came back. And let me pull this up. The satellites came back looking with data, something similar to what's going on here. Um, and when they filter it all out, you get like a, uh, you get like this little thing here where you, the temperature differenti differentiation has a north, north, south, east, and west to it. And guess what's right here in the middle in what they call the axis of evil? Why, that would be where the earth is. So, um, yeah, that's the Earth is in the axis of evil at their center point of the universe. Now, they'll never cop to it and never admit it um, as, a, as an absolute fact because they still have people working on the Big Bang Theory. I mean, what are those people going to do for jobs, right? Um, you know, so these theories, obviously, Big Bang is not going to go away, even though uh, you've got scientific observable proof that says that uh, the Earth is the center of the universe. And now this is not just some guy's idea. This is NASA and a whole scientific team and three billion dollar satellites over a decade that all confirmed this information. All of them did. The latest one, I think, that the Wilkinson probe... Um, let me see if it says here. It's the WMAP project. Anybody who wants to Google it, you can get all the results for it. Um, I think it was the Wilkinson probe, the Planck probe, and the um, one that was just a WMAP that they called it. But see, you get these different radio backgrounds and different things that they tested for, and they come out with the fact that the Earth is at the center of the universe. I'm testing the microwave radiation here. Now, and this is where I'm getting, I, I'm doing this video this way as opposed to making it pretty and all this stuff because I don't need anyone to tell me that, you know, I'm getting it off some creationist website. Uh, we go back to this one. This one is uh, what? Pravada.ru, some kind of science technology thing. They're talking about the same thing. Axis of evil piercing throughout the universe changes the conception of space. Right, it changes your conception. You can't have a big bang if the earth is in the center. Um, there's a Copernican idea out there that says the Earth is nowhere special and uh, everything looks exactly the same no matter where you are in the universe. Well, guess what? This satellite proved it wrong. The Earth is at a preferred location in the universe. Do you want to know why they believe they, they didn't believe the Earth was in a preferred location? Because they didn't believe in the philosophical idea that the Earth was special, Right? Which is why I always point out when guys like Bill Nye make a big spectacle out of saying the stars are just like our sun. Because they're trying to make it look like the entire universe is exactly the same everywhere. And what we see in our solar system to the Earth is going to be exactly the same out there. Which is BS. It's a lie. They don't know what's out there. Um, what is not BS is that the Earth is at the center of the universe. It's proven fact. Um... I don't know how much, what else you could do to prove it. All of the observable data shows that the Earth is at the center. 
now the universe is a big place. And I'm sure they'll come up with um, some kind of theoretical physics nonsense argument that says that, no, the Earth, it just looks like it's at the center, but it's really not at the center because we got this black for blackboard full of mathematical theories that says, you know, it could, it could work this way too, which is BS. And if you guys want to believe that crap, there's nothing I can do for you, but it's BS, okay? You know what that is like, these theoretical physicists that don't ever invent anything or test any any of their ideas? It's exactly like the guy who says, yeah, well, I've got all these great ideas for books that would sell like hotcakes, but I haven't written the book yet. But I got all that other stuff written down, but I hadn't written the book. That's exactly what it is. You know, I mean, it's the same thing. I've got I've got a bunch of calculations and stuff on the board, which is my comes out of my imagination as to how things could work, but I don't have any observable, testable anything to go along with it. Um, but they'll they will they'll use theoretical physics and say that, you know, what their billion dollar satellites and NASA came up with isn't correct. And, uh, you know, it seems to me that if anyone's going to be right, it's going to be billion dollar satellites in NASA, right? They may not like. The reason they sent three of them, by the way, is because they didn't like what the other ones were saying. They did not like that. They don't want the Earth to be the middle, so they kept sending up satellites saying there's got to be a mistake. There's got to be a mistake. It doesn't make sense. Well, it makes sense to Christians. Why in the heck would God create the Earth at the edge of the universe? It doesn't make any sense. He's going to create it in the middle. And just like the book says, he stretched everything out from the Earth. Which is exactly what it shows. Which is why the background radiation shows that everything is moving away. The universe is moving away. Stars are moving away. Everything is moving away from the Earth. Which is why they sent the satellites. And they confirmed it. So all you Big Bang believers, you're going to have to check out this movie. They're apparently making a documentary on this to say that, you know, we're at the center of the universe. And if you don't if you don't believe it, you're going to say that NASA and billion dollar, science, uh, billion dollar experiments are wrong um period and i don't know what where you could possibly come up with anything that is going to prove these satellites wrong um this this data is from march 2013 the most recent stuff so yeah and you guys can read all the stuff that i have up here all the different pages now this is the result of literally a five minute google search and there's tons of information on there. So all you people that are your big, big, there's proof for the big bang, this and that. No, there isn't. There never has been. They've always been trying to come up with data to support the big bang. And every time they do, they come up with data like this that shows, no, the earth is in the center of the universe. The Bible's been right. So that's, that's about all I've got. I'd like to make a little bit better video on this, but I'm gonna going to um, I just made this one, so I have something to copy and paste here for you people that want to believe in the Big Bang. And it's like, how do you have a Big Bang when when the Earth is in the middle of the universe? That would mean that the Big Bang started here, right? That's what it means. And every one of these articles says that the Copernican idea is completely blown away, and not heliocentricity. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the idea that we're at no particular special place in the universe. Uh, it's completely blown out of the water. All of these places. So that's all I got. Just letting you be aware. Once again, that is the W map satellites. Just like it just like it sounds. W map. And the guy's name who was doing this was called Planck. P L A N C K. Uh, right here. P L A N C K. And find all the information you want. And like I said, I'm ready for the uh, theoretical physicist to get out his blackboard and go, Oh, well, we can't have the Earth the center of the universe. we got to find some math. Where's that, where's that theory of special relativity that we like so much that's total friggin' junk? Let's throw that in there and see how that goes. Um, yeah. So Earth is the center of the universe by all observable science and experimentation. With that... I'm going to be out of here.